Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show how you can build your first Hello World application using the Visual Basic environment in Microsoft Excel. And I'm going to show three ways on how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. In the Microsoft Excel application, first you want to have your Developers tab showing. If it's not showing, right click on the toolbar and do Customize the Ribbon. If you're in Microsoft Excel 2007, to show the, the Developers tab to your left, you're going to see an option that says Popular. You're going to go to the popular section and so and check mark show the developers tab in the ribbon. If you're using 2010, which is the version I'm using right here, towards your right where you have customized the ribbon, you can click all tabs or main tabs. And what you're going to do is check mark the developers tab and go on and select OK. So the very first hello world display that we can do is is inside the box, and there's a couple ways to do it. The first one I'm going to do is going to be the easy way, record macro, just type in hello world. And right now we're, we, we are recording, so just select a field that you want to show hello world. C3, as an example, we'll just do hello world, exclamation mark, and then enter, and then stop recording. Now, if we were to go to macros and look at the macro name hello world, if we were to click edit, we'll see that it here's the code that Microsoft Excel created. Now, if I was to delete this and we were to play the macro, macro, hello world, and click run, we'll see that it repeats the same steps that you took to when you wrote hello world. Now, the other way that we can do this, because as you noticed, if I was to put my cursor over here on M12, run that macro again, hit run, it's going to put the active cell as, as C4 again. So let me show you how we can change that out. I also go to macro and click edit. If you notice, Microsoft Excel puts you into the Visual Basic environment for applications. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sub, sub hello world one. And all this is is just a procedure, like a macro. So I'm going to toggle back to Microsoft Excel, show you what this does. If I go to macro, there's now a macro that says hello world one. But if we run it, nothing happens because we don't have any code in there. But what you can do instead of having this code you can create your own you can do sheets the name of the sheet sheet one dot range and instead of putting it in c3 i'm going to put it in f3 put f3 equals hello world and just to let you know visual basic is not case sensitive but it will go on and change the the case settings for you in some instances, Visual Basic will be case sensitive, like when you're calling maybe like an API statement, that will be later on when you get into more advanced programming. But a good practice is to make sure that when you're typing, uh, you want to type to where the casing is correct. So let's go on and run this code though. Macros, hello world one, click run. And there you have it. Now what I'm gonna show you though is that in no way are we having to modify the cursor, the active cell. If I was in N11 as an example, macros and run hello world one, this field is still going to change. I'm going to hit delete. That field is still going to be modified and the active cell will not be changed. Now the other method that I wanted to show you on how to do a hello world is using a user form. So I'm going to go back to my Visual Basic environment towards the left on the toolbar, I'm going to hit insert user form. And this is going to be like how you can build an actual Windows Windows form. And what I'm going to do is draw a text box onto the field. And I'm not going to do anything with this, but like just to show you, you can add a command button as well. Right click it, change the properties. And like you can put in, put in OK. And I'm going to go to my Microsoft Excel environment again. Under insert, I'm going to insert a command button. And here, you can just change the code. I mean, you right click it, select properties. I'm going to change the captions, what I'm about to say. Show form. And I'm going to double click this. Now, the name of the form that we added right now is user form one. So all we're going to do is user form one dot show. And so what this is going to do, if you click that button, it's going to show you the user form. But what we're going to do next, though, in the user form, 
just going to size it right in the box right click it select properties and all we're going to do is type in into the text hello world and in the OK button I'm just going to put end which will close out the the form so show form and now you have the hello world hit OK and I'll close it back out and just one more example for the hello world show form instead of user form one I'm gonna put a single quote which turns it into um, a green color and that means that the code is just not executable nothing will happen now but I'm gonna do a message box hello world I'm gonna go on and toggle back to my Microsoft Excel application take us out of design mode if you're in design mode that you can see right here it's enabled you can't do anything It'll, you can double click it and that way it'll show you the code but once you take it out of design mode you're now in production you can actually click the button so now let's see what that message box hello world does and you see that box come up so this is a real quick video on how you can do hello world in Microsoft Excel the multiple ways of doing it so if you're new to VBA programming hopefully this gives you a, a, a good new insight there are a lot of powerful options and functionalities in, my, in the Microsoft Excel environment so hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching